morning here in Victoria, Africa. Thanks to everyone that is joining us. It's the two-year celebration here in the studio on the Africa Portal Radio TV International. We're going to be hosting one of our great leaders in the house today. Oloye Lekalabi is already with me in the studio, even though we are having challenges with connection with him. But uh, by the grace of God, we're going to have him on this spotlight that we give you. We'll be having the conversation together. To those of you joining us, thank you very much for the pleasure of your time. Please share, like, comment. Uh, your comment is very, very important. I really appreciate those of you that's already on this program already. Thank you very, very much for the pleasure of your time. Please kindly share, like, comment. It's going to be a love time on this program this hour as we are still trying to get Oluye Lekalabi into the team on to the show. Hour here in Victoria, South Africa. We're going to be having conversation around the uh, things that is necessary to life, around the life and the book that uh, one of the great leader Oluyele Kalabi just launched. And we're going to be talking about his meeting with uh, Professor Wale Shoyinka. We're going to be having conversation around that. God bless those of you joining this broadcast. We really appreciate it. Please keep commenting. Keep sharing, keep sending it out. It's happening raw here in Victoria, South Africa. Thanks to everyone that is joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the pleasure of your time. We are still struggling to get in touch with Oluye Leko Alabi as the line is giving a lot of problems. But let's quickly see if we can put him through on a video call on the African Portal TV International. Thank you everyone please watch like comment let it go viral it's happening right now right here on the in the studio with me i have the great leader that will be having this conversation together Oluyele Kalabi will join us let's just try to get him in through the direct call as the line is not giving us opportunities to actually get him on board so let's just uh, let's call him directly. Those of you commenting, we really appreciate it. We thank you for your comments. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep commenting. Keep sharing it. Keep letting it happen. Share, like, comment. Let it go viral. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Really good. I really appreciate your comments. 
comment there. Thank you very, very much. Please keep sharing it, keep sending it out. It's happening raw on the African TV International. Let's see if we can manage to get uh buy in. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, we understand that the network is not uh is not working well to let us connect you to the studio you but we can connect you through the uh phone call uh let's just use that to save the time because i know you have a lot of things you need to do for today it's happening right here right the media guru is with me in the paper is like yeah i really appreciate this time to have great leader like you on this show uh i just want you to introduce yourself to the listeners at home uh let them know so that for them to know that i actually engaging one of the great leader in the house thank you sir thank you sir i'm with you sir thank you very much and and the first culture of that region, a monument to live. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Thank you very much, sir. I, I, I don't want to waste our time. I just want to go straight to the business of the day. Uh, the business of the day. Uh, by the grace of God, we have opportunity to have a conversation yesterday, and I uh, some certain things on the spotlight for people to know what is coming on the program. Uh, and a lot of people have been waiting. I have Otumbaolu Yenka Waid, all the way from United States of America, joining us, watching us live from United States of America. I have a lot of people in the house with me that listening to this program and all over the world, people are listening and they want to hear what we have for them. Uh, I just want us to look at the a 50 years old appointment kept in 2021. What is that? What, what does it mean and what the people need to know about that why so long why 52 years why the appointment takes so long sir kindly help us quickly break this out sir all time is always the best and the invitation the following to visit our current was made to me in 1969, 50 years ago, long before he became a Nobel laureate. But circumstances and events. No, I, I only in 1969 when I visited the then School of Drama of the University of Ibad, now the Department of Theatres. But he then chose to visit Professor Walishenka. He was out of town, left a note, notice with the secretary. In the long run, all, all where the attempts were, a week ago, exactly a week ago today, I kept that promise. I fulfilled that vision by going to his house. His home in the West Forest. Thank you very much, sir. We we are we are still with you. We are still with. I, I just want to leave the platform for you to uh, to uh, uh, explain more to us because a lot of people are asking like, uh, could it be that Oloye uh, Lekalabi is not in the country or for them to, I mean, for that appointment to come to reality? I was. Hmm. Uh, thank you. I'm a protocol person. I follow protocols. So I met with 
Professor Shoyenka, at different occasions, many occasions, so I stated all the occasions. In 1970, I attended the audition for Gongi's Vest at my club, now Kongi Club, Adama I did not disclose my identity because I don't believe. to be chosen as, as an actor in that film on basis of medical now on the very school. So it was a TV but on interview program shook out T V two. I was uh, MC at uh, the forty fifth party photography launch of the is it Chief Mrs. Folaga Sholanke, where Professor Nika was the guest speaker. I didn't disclose my identity until Fit now stamped in the United States invitation last week. That's me. I don't break, I don't breach protocol. Mm. And I don't seek, I don't seek favors from people. But mm. one girl said, Wednesday, April 28, 2020, the one will be the time last week, formally. Mm -hmm. And I was in his house, in a home with, and the receiver was included mm -hmm. in second office that appeared on Africa's first television station, Jimmy Coca. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you very much, sir. It's exactly sorry about that, sir. It's exactly eight days. Uh, Tuesday, you. Uh, yes, sir. I, I, I'm with you, sir. I said it's exactly eight days. Last week, Wednesday, you have opportunity to now meet uh, uh Professor Wale Shoyinka, and uh, today we are uh, putting you on the spotlight. What is it based on? And uh, let's look at the issue of your book after that. But what is the conversation? What is it really based on? What are the discussion? What is it all about? Is it for the growth of Yoruba land? Last week, Wednesday. security, hunger, anger, frustration. Priority centered on that as a champion, he as a champion of human rights and freedom, and with all respect, the, the constitution of the country. What brought me and Professor Shoenka together in 1969 was the clamp into indefinite detention in Kaduna prison of him. By the then Minister of State of Nigeria, General Yakub Gaum. Even though I was 17 years old and uh, from three students of African Children's School at Patanganga Ibadan, they saw injustice in the drastic action of the federal military government led by General Gawan. So I wrote a letter to General Gawan pleading for two people, if I may say, if I may describe this one. This is the one you should for indefinite detention because you didn't put him on trial or take him to a court of law. So, if 52, huh, that is the same one now with his, how many years? If 54 years ago I demanded for justice, you can imagine what the topic will be last week. It was that. Hmm. We'll review the constitution in the country. And offered solutions. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, 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 wow. T thank you very much, sir. We we are still together. I I I I just want to appreciate uh, you. We nominate Oloye Lekalabe as Yoruba Cultural Ambassador as 20, 2021 Hollywood and Africa prestigious award in America.
Wow, wow, wow. People are responding out there. I know to Bolu Wahid or say is going to nominate you for uh Yoruba, I mean Yoruba Cultural Ambassador at the 2021 Hollywood and African Prestige Award. Wow. Please go ahead and do that, Otobalu Yinka. We share that. So, thank you very much. Uh, the meeting with uh, 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 Professor Wale Shoyinka last week, Wednesday, based on the uh, some progress expecting to happen in our country, Nigeria, and in our uh, uh, in Yoruba land. So, let's look at your book. Uh, I, I see the presentation, and I see, uh, in your picture right now. I saw you are giving the picture to I mean, the book to. Uh, uh the audio of okay. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah the line is failing us but uh for that we are having issue with the network so let's quickly go to your book sir can you hear me sir yes i can hear you okay sir please let's talk a bit about the book and uh what is the what is inside what can the people i mean the generation now what did they need is to get or learn from the book Okay, thank you. On Saturday, I was live on Splash FM. Hosted by Edmond Ovilo. He asked me, what led me as a 17-year-old student of African Jogama School to write a letter on behalf of a detainee in person of the then Mr. Walishenka. And I said, it is due to my progeny and destiny. In my family, I am the fourth traditional chief. Our progenitor, Omalaja, Ekeya Jengwe, was a Keribado Nibado. In the 18th century, his son, Ajengwe, was also a Keribado their son, son was a black in Balogun, traditional chiefs. When the battle started, it was only the Balogun line. That should become the Adventist primary book of 1959, primary two to primary four, 1961. 1962, I was school meal boy and the head boy, 1963. So if you look at my progeny, you will see I come from a family of activists, people who led their, their own lives and comfort for others. So that's the content of the book. Actually, it is a biography written by a former head of the Department of Political Science, University of Bado, Professor O.B.C. Owolese is the author. And he put the book together to mark my 17th birthday last year, 27th October 2020. So it's a biography, uh, somebody which he put together, but it's the title is and an unbelievable life. As a result, you can see that's a summary of my childhood through youth and now adolescent. That's the, the basic content of the book. Hmm. 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 So I appreciate uh your risk that and i want to thank you for the pleasure of your time to be with us let's quickly talk about lesson in the book uh i've half opportunity to go through the book not really like uh hundred percent but just to look through the book uh, so let's talk about the lesson there for the current generation with your life journey and with the uh what other people say about your journey what do you think that the generation of today incoming generation needs to learn from your own personal life Thank you very much. The most lucrative business in Nigeria in the last 35 years, the most lucrative is politics, public office. So today, 
you will find six adults hanging, hanging to be a public office holder or a politician. Councilor, local government council, councilor, chairman, commissioner, member, honorable members of assembly, national assembly, commissioner, minister. Because in less than six months on coming to office, you will see rapid positive changes in such occupants. So the youth to now are looking and saying, ah, why can't we join them? Whereas politics is not the only platform by which you can serve man or you can serve God and man but over the world. Before Nigeria came to this dredge with academics, actors, sportsmen, businessmen, industrialists, contributing to the growth of society like all the parts of the world, in, 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 especially in that country where you are now, South Africa, but to South Africa thrives. So, what we are trying to say, the, why don't you ask yourself, who am I? What skills do you possess? What, what is your destiny? Your focus? That's the individual. The leaders, I'm sorry, the so called leaders, they are not showing good examples because all we see is rhetorics, 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 no action, no developmental plan. All you see is fleet of SUV cars, Malaysia buildings acquired illegally, although they are strong. A few of the politicians who can stand integrity to. But I'm sorry, 80 90% of them are all liars, cheats, pretenders, and then all fancy things. Hmm. Wow. Uh, uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, you are uh, just nail the i mean knocking the nail on the on the head and i really appreciate that sir so let, let's look at what's you done now the damage this is doing to our community most especially to our to our educational system in africa and in nigeria as a whole uh, a lot of people believe that education is not a way of success these days and don't believe in education anymore because a lot of people, even a school starts, is getting to the uh, to politics and is making it to the limelight, and they become popular and they become so rich. How can we correct this, especially in your land in Nigeria? Are you there, sir? Hello, sir. Thank you very much, Oloye uh, Leka Ladia. Yes, okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, can you can I repeat the question, sir? Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, the question is: If you look at our environment, our society today, the youth today, they don't yeah. believe. They don't believe in education anymore because of our education system and because some of the people that even illiterate they are going into politics and from there they make it to the limelight they become so rich they become popular they become so successful in their own right and a lot of people it's better for them to actually go for politics than go and spend many years in the university and at the end of the day become so poor without having anything to show it so how can we change this narrative in africa especially in nigeria for people to see education as a way of life, not going into politics as a way of life. Hello. Sir, I'm hearing you, sir. I'm very uh, much. We don't want to. No, we don't. Yeah, feel Now, look at the. Nakedness, display of nakedness, morality, uh, are not things that are anti thesis or anti culture. A program called 
this uh, what do they call this? Can they call BB Nigeria, whatever? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm listening, I'm with you, sir. I'm no, listening. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, sir. I, I'm, 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 I'm answering you, sir. The network is breaking. I'm just trying to make sure that we are getting you right here in the studio. Okay. okay. They call it Kinecom Nigeria or something. Big Brother Nigeria. Are you aware? Big Brother Nigeria. Kinecom Big Brother. Yes, sir. Some governor, some oh, governor, yeah, some yeah, governor yeah, even, yeah. some governor even plated to uh, the winner of the of the competition. Okay, for two or three weeks of display of nonsense, all right. So the the get millions of naira, millions of naira, right? Hmm. Hello. Hello, sir. I'm, I'm with you, sir. I'm hearing you, sir. The line is breaking, but we yeah, we are trying to get you, sir. We are. Li I'm listening, sir. Do you know the price they, they give to foreign students, secondary school foreign students, <laughs> when they win on the competition? Do you know the price? Ah, very little. Hello? Hello, sir. Very, very little, huh? very little price to the students. I said very little price to the students that did well the, in the school. The, the young, the young secondary school students who have been tested in mathematics, physics.
but I had my friend. Geography, you you can see now. So, see young, seven, when I see them display intelligence, the physics, sciences, I am always admitting that I couldn't match this in young people. Now you are giving them 10 cups of milk and 15,000 naira as their price or display great intelligence. Hmm. 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 Wow. Thank you very much, sir. I hope everyone listening to us, you are getting one or two things out of this conversation. Yeah. Uh, like, if we want the change to happen in our community, in our country, we need to wake up to the reality of time. We need to spend more time uh, to promote the education than promoting things that does not bring in any results back to us. I, I, I like what you said there. Let me read it out. I, I, and I support your vision. No, I eat. Uh, thank you very much. I'm really enjoying you. I do encourage my children in their education performance with the sum of 100,000. Wow. You see, it, the more we encourage the children, the youth, in our educational plans, the more that we have interest in it. But if we are not encouraging them, if we are spending more time that is not bringing value to our, our community, it will not go anywhere. Thank you very much, Otumolu Ikawaii. I really appreciate that, sir. Uh, let's quickly look at the uh, the journey yesterday. I mean, last week, Wednesday. Uh, let me take you back to that. You have opportunity to Hello. meet. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? It appears. It appears. Wait, wait, wait. It appears. <laughs> The network is giving us a lot of challenges. Sorry, everyone listening to us. We are having a, a, a serious challenges with the network. The network is giving us a lot of challenges. Let's try to see if we can be able to get him back on the line. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Kumo Africa, Olabanjo. Abramon, thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it. We can see your end there. Please keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. We are having a challenge with the network, but uh, we believe that we're going to get him back online again. The network is very, very poor. The network is very, very poor. Let's see if we can get him back online. Thank you very much, everyone joining us. Happening right here. Uh, for you to know more, we can. Well, we are going to have the copy of the book as well in our studio. Uh, for those of you that would like to have it, this is going to be one of our celebrations for the two years. We're going to be having a show whereby we'll be reading and we're talking about the book and doing some review about the book and as well as uh, trying to put Oloye Lekalabi onto the spotlight on all our program for us to be able to uh, also get from him. He's a great leader. He's one of the uh, leaders that we believe so much in his uh, in his charisma and we believe so much in his strength. So please kindly join us. We are having challenges with network. We are unable to get him online back, but uh, we are still trying to call him to see if we can reach out to him. The network is very poor on his side, but we believe that we're going to Thank you very much, sir. That network Hello. is Hello, sir. We are with you yes. now. Yes, sir. The network is very bad. We are having challenge. We are having issue with the, with the network. Sorry about that, sir. No problem. Thank you, sir. You can continue, sir. You are trying to say something, sir. Saying that the, the you are talking about the falling of education, right? Yes, sir. I tell people, don't just say you want to restructure Nigeria. Those who are benefiting from the system will not will not let go easily. Break it down. The first thing is let us go back to true federalism. Your, they are giving resources. Let's 
their leaders pursue the vision they have. As we, as we had pre-independence and the middle independence, northern region, eastern region, western region. I just chose the way for their leaders, for their citizens. Region because if I have visionary leaders and group of dynamic ministers under a premier. And the, the House of Assembly functioned statutorily. But today you have a mismatch. As Amadou Bello, my foremost nationalist, and I am a pure Yoruba man. But why is Amadou Bello my foremost nationalist? Is crying during the consular talks and independence system. Nami Aziko because of his own ambition to become Prime Minister and be later President of Africa was good. But Amadou Bello will always Sorry, everyone listening to us. Let's talk is really feeling lost. We have this to tell us, especially about the problem facing the educational system in Nigeria. Uh, it, it said a lot about the uh, the government and about the challenges that we are facing in Nigeria and how we can be able to fix things. But the problem we are facing right now is the network problem. The network is really feeding us. So, but those of you joining us, kindly share, like, comment, let viral is happening raw. In our two years uh, of I me mean, here on the African Portal Radio, we put it upon ourselves to engage the great African leader, Oloye Leko Alabi, in the studio with me to have this conversation and to talk about the progress that uh, we are expecting to happen in to come. Uh, I just want to appreciate those of you that you are connecting, those of you that you are watching this program. Thank you very, very much for the pleasure of your time. Those of you that will be watching it later, thank you so much as well. Please, kindly share it. Let it go viral. I'm still trying to get, if I can, uh, to, if I can get Oluye Lekalabe back on the studio, please. Uh, just stay with us. Let's quickly see if we can get him back again. Let's quickly see if we can get him back. We are trying to establish a call to him. The network is very, very poor on his side, but we are trying to see if we can get him back on this conversation. It's happening raw on the African Portal Radio. As we are celebrating our two years, this is a way we do it. And this is the what we are putting together to put one of the great African leaders on the spotlight to talk about the issues, the challenges. 52 years after, after he wrote the letter to Professor Wale Shoyeka for him to have a conversation with him, the 52 years later, finally come to the reality in 2021. Last week, Wednesday, Oloye Leko Alabi had opportunity to meet with Professor Wale Shoyeka, one-on-one in his house in Abel Okuta, and the conversation based on the how we're going to find permanent solution to the problem that our country is facing, and how we are going to make sure that the Yoruba land become a successful land whereby the citizen of the Yoruba will be able to enjoy the wealth of the land. And that is what the Oloye Lekalabi is talking about right now, that what we need to do is to practice the real federalism. The real federalism, we should go back to the basics with the time that we actually have the independence. Oloye Lekalabi is back on here with me on the African portal. Sir, you, you can continue, sir. The network is filling Hello. us. Hello, sir. We can hear you, sir. Hello? Hello, sir. We can hear you, sir. Hello? Hello, sir. We can hear you, sir. Hello, 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 sir. Are you there? I'm there. I'm there, sir. into a group of provinces a, a decree which he broadcast in May 1966. And that means a military structure, command structure for Nigeria. Whatever they did in Kano, Zaria, they must practice and do in Calabar and Ibarra. 
without regard to the cultural affinity of the people, the resources, population, and vision. Are you there? I'm there, sir. I'm with you, sir. Fully with you. Nigeria, the regions had their separate offices in London. Hmm. And Nigeria as a whole had the High Commission. Western region had its own agent general in the UK. Ditto Northern region, Ditto Eastern region. So it was a big process. Who matched Nigeria and the it of a group of provinces? And since then, Nigeria never felt any comfortable, progressive position because you you are you are you are you are gathering people with different features into one group, and they say Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria is negotiable. It is very negotiable. See, this is the time now. That, yeah, this is the time now we are facing the truth. So people, their views, opinions, vision are at counter, counter to the other people. Yoruba, Igbo, Aosa, Fani, Ijo, Efik, Chivi. Let us go back to the regional system. And it's at the federal level on all basis. No tribe or section is superior to the other. None. As it was in the beginning. And what's the young pursuit, education, healthcare, and peace? That's the first television station in Africa in Western region, Ibadan. The tallest building in Nigeria, Cocoa House, Ibadan. And several other landmarks. And Eastern region decided to follow. Northern region chose to follow at their own pace because the premier of Northern region said, I like him for that. We are not the same. And this is what everybody is echoing now. Middle Middlebet group, uh, civil rights group, they are echoing what Sir Amadou Bello has said in 19, between 19. Immediately after independence. So now. Um, Retarding ourselves, dissolve the present system, dissolve it. Go federalism as its practice in Canada, UK, USA, and other countries of the world, and there will be peace and progress. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Well, thank you very much, sir. Let, let, let that take me to the uh, to the issue uh, of what is happening right now. A lot of people are calling for Yoruba exit that they want the Yoruba to exist or to be out of the amalgamated the contract that what that or, or what is your view to that it's not only the Yoruba that wants to exist in Nigeria I had the Benin or the middle bit they've got their own currency their flag one is called the room that is suffocating and you're almost gasping for breath. You either, you either open the windows or do the ventilation or get out. As people will continue to die through suffocation. And we won't die. We will not die. Mm. So it's either they open the window and doors or ventilate the room or the people will walk out. Hmm. Hmm. Because you must not die of suffocation. First two, they will they will become agitated if you put them in a ventilated situation. Animal. Open the windows, open the doors as they were opened before in Nigeria. Or put ventilation in running farms here. But the best Fresh air. Fresh air. Wow. Thank 
you very much, sir. I, I really, really appreciate it. Let me tell you this. My late father. My late father. What do you think about President Bochy State? He took the family to Lokoja. He took the family to Itaku. From Itaku, he took the family to Inubu. We were living at number 86. On where he wrote, Asata, Inubu. Two of my sisters went to Queens College, Inugu. That's my dad. That was my dad. My father of blessed memory. So I can say I know a bit about the major parts of Nigeria, the, the east and my own region, the west. Hmm. The ordinary Nigeria, the ordinary Ausama, the ordinary Fulani man, the ordinary Ibu trader, the ordinary Yoruba trader, they want to live in peace. It is this so-called elite, particularly the politicians, the selfish self-centered that are forcing trouble on us. Look at it. If I need to have the the ordinary the so-called Nigeria, they are at peace with themselves. It is this this so-called uh, politicians and who are benefiting from the system that are causing the problem. Mm. So, and how do you want to do it? Go back. Go back. Mm. 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 Go back to the basics. Exist before. If you, in the, before it was, you are not invited, you will have values, their cultures, their traditions. Otherwise, you out from the community. You, you cannot be anti the community and want to be making benefits with their no talk of harming them, killing them when they are not fools. They will react. Mm. They will react. And that's exactly what is happening right if now. If you if you don't react, then you'll be taken for fools. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let's 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 look at the issue of open in Lagos uh, in August. Some uh, some youth come out and, uh, like you say, that they will react. Some youth react to the what is happening in the country and protest. And the response to that protest seems not to very good. Uh, what is your view to the issue of what happened in August last year in Lagos and other part of the of other part of Nigeria? Anyway, yeah, I was seventy years old. On October, today, October 27, 2020, last year, yes. we had started planning. But a week to the celebration, the uh, international conference of all of you, I, the new one, was booked in January. 19 artists agreed to come and entertain my guests. Suddenly, on the night of 20th October last year, we saw on television answers at his protest point. And some people entered the palace of the Oba of Lagos, sat on his throne, wore shoes, carrying his sack of office. We saw it on television because I, I'm, I'm not resident in Lagos. So, what did my family say? They said, well, only by the peace of uh, you will celebrate many seasons of good health. Please, we are postponing your bad testimony, which was a week away. Hmm. So that's how my bad celebration last year was postponed till or to December 2020. Act of pity for those who died, who were killed, destructions, and all that. So now you are referring to August last year in Lagos. What about all over the country? Where this answers thing took place? Mm. 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 Family said, no, 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 none of the people who are confronted. I am a private individual. I thank God. His blessings is what I live on. Mm. But the family said, no, you have to postpone your birthday party. And they did. Hmm. Hmm. True. Well, yes, I'm not among the senators. I'm not a politician. I am not a beneficiary of any money illicit in this country. 
I have to my little wealth. God, I have integrity because I told them one people I, I was calling out we had a press conference, the committee, the planning committee had a press conference to tell everybody that's free. We are postponing the ceremony. And they were calling me, ah, why are you postponing? Are you are you are you one of the people they are after? And I said, so we will go to you as soon as we are not going to their campus, start drinking and dancing. And people this group infiltrated by thought we come to the camp and march Wednesday, come to the world, carry the food, if they don't enjoy guests. Mm. That's why we thank God. It, it was under a convivial atmosphere with us. Ordinary people coming to the hall to dance and make merry. Because when I was born, I was born on Friday, October 1950. Yusuf Allah played for three days. Hmm. When I was 40, Ebenezer Obi played. MK Abiola was the chairman. When I was 60, Ebenezer Obi played. When I was 65, King Sonia Ade played. So, so, um, Mubola. But no, no, no. My family said, thank you. We are going to postpone your ceremony because of SS riots. Hmm. That's the sacrifice my family made. Hmm. There we are. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. So why, why is Nigeria inconveniencing, inconveniencing the ordinary citizen? Why? Hmm. Hmm. Sir, so, because of this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The British. Also, you know, why do you put a by their maglamation, which uh, Sadana called the greatest mistake, hmm. which I want to refer to as mere geographical expression, which Tafa Balewa in 1948 said was a British delusion. In Aziku, 1964, warned that if you want to go, if you want to go our trade ways, let us go in peace and not in pieces like the, the Republic of the Congo. Because there was a conflict in Congo where millions died. All our leaders have been warning us. They, they have been warning us. Hmm. We are not the same. Tafa Bali were qualified. Tafa Bali were qualified in 1940. He said, we are different. Because culturally, Nigerians don't want to be warned. That's what he said. Hmm. Why, are you, why are you forcing people on willing partners? Hmm. Hmm. You know, oh. Evolution. Let Ferran and Dover and of certain many things it has taken into our basket. External areas, agriculture, uh, government, uh, education. They don't have, have anything. Federal government does not have anything to do with responsibilities. In any way, the, the major responsibility of federal governments is, first of all, defense, internal and external, currency, immigration, and custom. Hmm. 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 And it is the reason now calling minister, uh, commissioners for finance, for monthly meetings and sharing. As if they are begging for funds from, from the federal. Federal that does not produce nothing. Hmm. Let the state control their sources, not give them resources, and take away all these oil blocks from individuals, nationalize them, use the money to promote education, health, good roads, infrastructures. Fully with you, sir. Do you know? Do you know we are living uh, 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 Almighty and Nepal? Hmm. Because if the public power states will go off, and I do, I don't put off, I don't put on the daytime. Hmm. 
you cannot guarantee 24 hours electricity public power supply that will be affordable uh -huh. it's unlike where you are now you are, you are speaking comfort mm. where you are because you are not afraid of a blackout so all those things should be taken care of security public infrastructure roads potable water education health and our general welfare mm -hmm. Nigeria will rise to the, to the 1950s then 1960s when in Africa no no country could challenge Nigeria no not even Rhodesia or South Africa no mm. in all types of politics sports that's why you had the tigers of this world Thunder Balogun, the first African to go and play abroad Queen's Park Rangers of England Thunder Tessalimi Balogun mm. okay, pass. see the tiger Noji Mayabun the first Nigeria to win a medal in the Olympics. He was a boxer. Not talk of the academia. You have Wolisho Yankas, Chima Achebes, Cipran Equences. Hmm. Hmm. Sir, let, let, me, let me not waste much of your time because of the network on your side and because of the electricity that you said. Let's quickly just go to the uh, last question for this interview. I'm still going to bring you back because we are celebrating two years of the African Porter and you have been one of the great leaders that we have put on the spotlight to celebrate our two years as the broadcast radio here in South Africa. Sir, uh, somebody send a question right now. Please. Okay, sir. I'm listening, sir. We are proud of you. Thank you. We are proud of you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Also, Babu Yiga Wahid said that, sir, do you know Chief Wahid Shonola Omo Osho, aka by Ajale, Ishego of Oyate? I'm not sure if probably he just threw that question on the questioning uh, part of it. But that is just by the way we look at that uh, before we uh, we had of this so let's quickly look at the uh uh the, the the title you sit on as the kefa olubado of ibadan can you tell us a bit about it that surround your you becoming the ekefa of olubado if i does not choose olubado you rise is like a military hierarchy. You will first of all become the head of your family, Magaji. And some of the Reni Ulubado to the two lines that lead to the throne. Ulubado line or Balogo line. There are 22 steps on the Ulubado line, 23 steps on the Balogo line, which you rise to. When we can you can't get there by usurpation, might, finance, no. So if I don't, traditional chief system is divine order that whatever will be will be so you become the head of your family if you have come to this world with the destiny of Bolivado, you will certainly get there how long hmm. are you there i'm there sir i'm with you sir if i don't if i don't when colonialists came they asked our ancestors who gave them they thought and the answer they got was this is from our ancestors and they do what we battle by god almighty himself that is why you don't get any rancor in the battle and he knows where he or she is immediately I finish this interview with you i am going to the meeting of the battle not local government traditional council for our monthly meeting where we discuss the, the progress of the town, of, of the state, and of the world. All that of 
What is the role? What role do you play in the whole shifted state title in the battle? I became the Jagon Bado in October December 2001. So 2020 now will give you a figure of 19 years in the traditional system. By the grace of God, we will rise to become Ulubado by the grace of Almighty God. So an average Ulubado will have spent 25, 30 years in the custom, tradition, and parts of your people. Unlike other areas, and I'm not condemning any town, not even England, I'm not condemning their own system. So yeah, we can see, and they will just really have and to okay. Are you there? I'm there, sir. I'm, I'm listening, sir. It's breaking, but I'm listening to you, sir. So the man or the prince that is chosen as the uh, king elect will spend about three or a month in a baby learning the system. That has taken over the average of 25 years. Mm -hmm. And in the course of that, as I say now, I'm going to be of the battle, not local government traditional council. And I've been a member of the council since 2006. Gaining experience, learning the system. So, like, as I said, it's like the military. You get out of uh, Defense Academy, you become a second lieutenant, lieutenant, and colonel, you rise. Mm. Same with us. It's one of the positions to the top from the. Bottom. Mm. And we pray. To God Almighty, to lead us to our destiny. The good earth, to break all of. And by the grace of, by the grace, by the grace of God, you will definitely. Get there, sir. You will get this together, sir. We really appreciate you for coming out to be part of this show. I know you have a lot of things that you need to attend to. And I believe, sir, again, you're always a great man. Immediately we call this call to our rescue. Every time when we call you, we want to have you, you don't hesitate. You tell us, let's go for it. Even though it's a short and you don't forget, don't forget. I started a professional career in journalism yes, in 1973. Yes, sir. So I am bound <laughs> to assist, I'll assist to the calling of my junior, whether my peer or senior in this profession. Wow. So you have my attention. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. It's our, two years, it's our two years celebration, sir. Please, a prayer. All of veteran journalists. A prayer. That's why we put you on the spotlight. And please, it's our two years anniversary. Please, play, pray for the African Porter as a media house and for everyone working in the African Porter. Thank you. One of the misnomer in Nigeria is that yes, God is all the responsibility. Yes, just say, uh, alone, like we are going to call on God. God alone. He has given you already the resources, the country resources and brains. You've got it. So what you need to do is keep within the law of where you are operating, pay your half good salaries and on time, remain non-partisan, and be ahead of your listeners. By the grace of God, you are going to celebrate your 10th, 15th, 30th, 40th, 50th centuries. Amen. Man. But remember what I said. Mm. Remain a true professional. Mm. Keep the laws of the country that is your host. Mm. And don't be partisan. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. It's a great pleasure to have this great man of our time in the video with us as we are celebrating our two years to talk about his meeting with us to talk about his book and as well and he are breaking the hope i mean we wish we can explore or we can have more time with him but the time will not permit us as look at you about Baba, <laughs> Eh, Baba, I marry about like Barry. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. Baba, I marry about. Oh, that's it. I don't want To everyone listening to us, thank you very much. I'm with one of the great African leaders. Or to Molu Nkawa, I don't even know how I'm going to type from A to Z. We really appreciate and we celebrate you. Congratulations to the African Port of South Africa. Sir, we are together in this. God bless you, sir. We really appreciate it. Or to Molu Nkawa, it's October or Yotunji in California, he's staying in, uh, in, in California, in United States of America. Otoba, we really appreciate it. God bless you. Uh, keep doing the great work you are doing. Mm -hmm. And it's the, uh, it has a hall that we are uh, actually putting together for the Yoruba uh, Odua uh, Hall that is planned. So it will come to reality. Thank you very much for the pleasure of your time. We really appreciate it. To everyone watching us, we really appreciate your time. Keep watching the African Porter. Keep supporting. Keep praying for us. God bless everyone. Thank you very much, everyone watching this program. And thanks to Ekepo Lubadov for coming out to celebrate these two years. Thank you very much, everyone. Keep watching the Africa. Keep talking about it. We're going to end it here for today. We'll see you again by the grace of God tomorrow. By the grace of God. Tonight, we have a show coming up on this show as well tonight. Join us on that show. It's going to be another beautiful show. Keep watching the author. Remember, Labos is the only company we can recommend to you when it comes to sending things across the globe. Labos is the one sponsoring, supporting.
sustain and promoting what you are doing in this house. Please, for everything you want to send across the globe, call our boss. God bless you. See you again by the grace of God. You will see me tomorrow, but you will have our shows to continue on the Africa portal. We have a lot of shows. God bless you.